Hey there everybody, Cool Cucumber here. Welcome back to Let's Play StarCraft Remastered, the Terran Campaign. Last time we left off, well, we sought a bit of unorthodox help, but it seems like I, I'm willing to give this Manx feller the benefit of the doubt for now. I mean, the Confederates literally left us to twist in the wind to the whims of the Zerg, and he did actually come in and help rescue our folks. And that's something at the very least. We'll figure out if we've made a deal with the devil shortly. Until then, I am ready to start our next mission, the Jacob's Installation. The Jacob's Installation. Office of the former Colonial Magistrate, Marsara Collin. Your tenure as Colonial Magistrate <clears throat> is suspended, pending an official investigation of your affiliation with the Sons of Korhal. Receiving incoming transmission. Hey, man. Arcturus' boy sprung me from the prison ship. Apparently, they're as frustrated with the Confederates as we are. I know their reputation, but they seem to be on the level. I think Arcturus wanted to speak with you. Commander, Mar Sarah is almost completely overrun by the Zerg. The Confederates are abandoning the planet. And so are we. Whatever design or weapon schematics that you can find in their networks. With the chaos of the Confederates' evacuation, you shouldn't have any trouble getting in or out of their installation. I'm into it. All right. We got our boy Jimmy back. And we got our first installation mission. Now, the, see, the problem with these things is that they are either incredibly short or absurdly long, depending on what the requirements are. And this is one of the short ones. So this could end up being the shortest episode of the entire series. And I apologize for that if it happens. But that's just installation missions for you. Anyway, let's get this sh show on the road. Yeah, we're going to want to avoid using stim packs for this mission as long as we can. Also, we are now the Sons of Core Hall. Our color is now red, and if you look at the border, I'll have also changed the Marines' color to red in the border. This is the better form of Jim Rayner. He's so much better as a Marine than in a, fire, than in a Vulture. Come on. Come on, you idiot! Ma'am, go over here! Wear a pedal stool! Ma'am, ma'am! Right on. Sounds fun. Oh, yeah. Sounds fun. Right on. Ow! Sounds fun. This should be good. Get back over here, you sacks of bags of buckets of idiots! Yeah. SCVs and. What are those units? Civilians! Well, I don't know about Arcturus, but Jim don't kill no civilians. At least not on purpose. At least not if he can help it. And they're just kind of standing there. I reckon we'll let them live their normal lives. For installations, I recommend not using the attack move command quite as much because there are ambushes in these things. And I am going to try and explore the full map because this is otherwise this is going to be a super short mission. And you never know what goodies you might find. For all I know, there could be some Protoss hold up in here somewhere. Ooh, there's a button. And remember, they're better at getting up a ramp if you don't look at them. That's dumb, but it's a thing. You know, grab Jim. Also, heroes are always outlined with white in this bar. Teleportation field activated. Ah! 
Security cameras activated. No. Oh wait, there's an actual marine. I was like, no, we aren't gonna kill no civilians if we can help it. Stop shooting at the civvies! That's a dark road we don't want to go down. No matter who they're working for. Alright, let's keep on going down here. Have we lost anybody? It feels like we've lost somebody. Maybe we have it. Maybe I'm just crazy. Again, stim packs real useful for overcome for need if we need a quick push. But considering Marines can't heal and one of these Marines is a hero, I'm gonna stay the hell away from those. I don't count the SCVs as civilians. Come on, let's get up here. Right Alright, looks like something already came through here. Because it looks like something ate these. Oh, yeah. And peed on the floor there. That's rude. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the little turret that tried! I'm gonna kill you! No, I'm not. Oh, yeah. I'm dead. I'm going to try to explore as much of this map as we can, as I said, just because these installations tend to be short. And if we just juice through them, not only will we not fill our normal time quota, but we'll be far off from it. My other goal is to try and keep as many of these folks alive as we possibly can. I bet this door's gonna be locked. Oh, it ain't. So I think this might be the end. It's not the end. Yeah, we lost a few there, unfortunately. Just hold shift to quickly add units to the to the group. Y'all probably already know that, but it can't hurt. These poor fellers. I should just leave them behind. So that way maybe they don't die. But hell, they're warriors. They deserve to be able to die fighting. Sorry for the sudden silence. A downpour just started all of a sudden. So if, um... I hope that nothing happens to this recording. I reckon I'm having a right good time, and I'd really hate it if and I had to start it up again. There's just one Marine in here. Don't kill the civvies. Ooh! No more auto turrets. No more turrets that could. Jeez, it's raining its brains out out there. 
That's one thing y'all learn about the Midwest, is it never just rains a little. It either destroys the universe with its rain, or it don't rain at all. Enemy Firebat! Take it out! Now it's hailing! Good lord! No, my fire rat! And we let all the indigenous critters out. What on earth is this rainstorm? I don't know how much of this is coming through, but I can barely hear myself speak. No, get back here, you dumb! The Zerg? What the hell are the Zerg doing here? Well, that's an eye opener. Though it does make sense the Confederates would know about the Zerg before us. I wonder what that means. Maybe it means the Zerg ain't so bad. Also, hey, little buddy, you look weirder than hell. <sighs> you really do. That feels like a trap. Hopefully this rain don't mess nothing up. They tried attacking Rainer. But luckily he has 200 hit points. Compared to the 40 a normal Marine has. <clears throat> so it's actually pretty daggum hard to take him down. That must be a teleporter to get in there. Ah! Vulture! Damn! Nothing I could have done about that! Except not going in here, of course. But I want to explore! I lost so many Marines! It's the rain! It distracted me! How dare you, rain! Unauthorized entry detected. I thought we disabled all the turrets.
Well, the one good thing about having fewer group of uh, fewer soldiers in a smaller group is that it's easier to keep track of all of them. I don't have no more just wandering off into the cold dark of the of the night. Wow. I'm pretty daggum sure that was a Star Wars reference. Actually, I'm certain of it. That means that Star Wars is canon in StarCraft. I'm okay with this in with this eventuality. Wow, that didn't do jack. That did so little damage for as much wind-up as there was. Alright, looks like we're just about ready to be done. They have a ghost! Ghosts are special assassins! And under the right circumstances, they're the ones that get trusted with nuclear bombs. Let's just make sure nobody else is in this room going to sneak up on us. Could be in this dark corner. Could be in this dark corner, too. I just want to make sure nobody's going to sneak up on us whenever we access the main computer. Yep, we're clear. All that's left is civvies. We don't shoot at civilians. Whoever got that is going to get a court martial, if I have anything to say about it. Civilian death casualty, zero. And I reckon we're just about done here. Really, the only thing to look at here is units lost versus killed. We lost seven brave souls. <laughs> they lost 32... Let's call them what they are. Buttholes. And the Zerg lost all five of their Jarmungand brew. That's a hell of a word, but I like it. No resources, no structures. Just... <laughs> they didn't stand no chance. <clears throat> what on earth does APM mean? I don't know. In the wake of the chaos resulting from the Zerg invasion, the Sons of Korhal escaped with the stolen data disks. Feeding, fleeing to the border colony of Antigua Prime, Arcturus's, new group, Ar Arcturus's group now plans its next crucial moves against the Confederacy. Thirteen hours after the evacuation of Marsara, Protoss warships took up orbit around the colony and unleashed a massive planetary bombardment. All life upon the surface was extinguished. I don't know if this is going to be the ending or the last thing was, but if I read through all that, stay cool.